Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is the off brand Ginger and I am playing Amnesia the Dark Descent yet again. So let's see what we got going on down here. Um, two paths. One is closed off. Alright. <laughs> Thought it was going to give me a choice here. I was only given the illusion of choice. Oh, lovely. Seriously, hope this isn't the area with the uh, really, really big one. Can I? There we go. Come on. There we go. I forget that you hear noises every four seconds with this. Hello? Anyone here to 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 do the murder to me? Definitely sounds like it. Hello? Oh. oh, did that drop my sanity? No, oh, crystal clear. All right. It's gonna. Turn out really bad for me, isn't it? Just feel like I keep getting closer to whatever Just slamming around. More oil. That's that's good. That, that dude's very, very dead. See how I'm doing? I'm doing all right. Well, thank you for that, I guess. Oh. Wait, is that me? Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? I don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Huh. That's quite interesting. What well, I wonder what he means by that. I for some reason really do not trust this room here. Second of August. 1839. I have arrived at the village of It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. Did I they kill are them? Dead because of me. Did, but did I kill them? Chances are, if it, if I was in control, then they're very much dead. I really don't trust. Fuck. That's why I don't trust. I knew it. Can I put out the candle, please? Oh, please don't tell me. Is it gonna be like last time? He's gonna smash down the door? Please. Just turn around, bud. Please. Every time. Without failure. He just walks up, says, you know what? I choose this door. Screw you. Smash. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Stupid chair. I don't trust you.
Huh. Very poor condition. Hema and Shippa. Oh, um, drill, um, needle. Damn it, they thought of every way. Oh, more lore. Oh no. He escaped. Where is he now? Inter oh. I don't know why I said oh that way, because there's nothing there. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed here. Mr. Box and Barrels, protect me. Am I alright? I think so. He said, I, I'm dipping. I feel like I'm backtracking a lot now. I definitely backtracked, didn't I? Fuck, I did. Oh, another chair. Chair, what do you tell him? I didn't tell him anything. Don't lie to me, you stupid chair. Oh, God. Stupid chairs. It was, it was a lie. They never tell the truth. They expect you just to sit on them, and they like it. They like it when you sit on them. Creepy pervs. That's all they are. Who are you to question me? Third of August, 1839. Whew. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Yeah, just in time for his experiments. He must have a reason, right? Oh, what is Course. Come on, man. Let's break down the door already. Hey, here he goes. Alright, so that's one door. He's gonna go straight to my door next. No? Oh, he's just gonna walk away. Mr. Mr. Man? Ok. 
Okay. So he was chilling in here. For what though? Oh, that. Keep the oil from me. Of course. What are you telling, Mr. Chair? I swear I didn't tell him anything. Come on, man. You don't need to be doing this. Come on, man. Shut up. Stupid fucking chair. Get out of here. I don't trust you. You're lying to me again. Oh, because that's a trustworthy door. I'm not going to need to shut that at all and like pray that I'm not going to get my ass ate out. Chair. Ginger? Why you call me why you call me that? Well, you know, cuz you're you're off brand ginger. Yeah. Yeah. What about it? Um I'm trying to have a conversation over here. Can you shut up? All right. So explain yourself. Why do you always lie? I'm not always trying to lie. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I think you know exactly what you, what I'm talking about. No, I don't. Shut up. Quit lying. More tinder boxes. All right, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Yeah, uh, you see, see, that's your dead brother in right there. That's what you deserve. That's what's gonna happen to you next. No, it's not gonna happen to me. Shut up. See, the barrels over there are more trustworthy than you. Alright, you know. I just know he's going to be hanging around the corner here. Fuck. I knew it. I knew it. You always tell him of where I'm at. Stupid chair. If I wasn't being chased right now, I'd be killing you. Stupid chair. See, wherever the chair is, he's always not that far behind. But you can't trust those chairs. Alright, thank God. Oh, hey, was this a thing where the monster was just walking by? Oh, I mean, it was walking away from over here. So that's probably a good sign for me, right? Yeah, let's shut the door just in case. I saw a page here. Let's. August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. Oh. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Nice. Orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Really? Ooh, more rotten apples. Where did it go? 
the vaulted ceiling? Oh yeah, it's up there. All right. Ah, so a price. So I wonder what kind of price we're talking here. I don't trust you. I'll take you though. Ow! Yeah, as some sort of acid. And a slight headache for sanity. I definitely feel like I'm in immense danger right now. Okay, so I think that one's the weak one. So then I should be able to. Yeah! You don't know how to open doors. <laughs> Got him. Oh, interesting. I could turn off my lantern. Oh. Well, anyways, I think that's a good place to end this off. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want. If you don't like the video, go ahead, dislike. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, although I do have to say, if you did dislike the video, go ahead, check out some of my other content. You might actually find some that you will enjoy. Beyond that, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you next time.